Hello friends and welcome to another GT video. Today we are going to talk about the best launcher apps that we recommend in 2018. I'm pretty sure that uh, Android users among you know the importance of a good launcher and how productive it makes you in day-to-day -day handling of the phone. So it's only apt that you know about the best launcher apps out there and which one you should use for better customization and more productivity. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. This is Abhijit from Guiding Tech and let's see which are these apps. Let's start with the Action Launcher app. It's a pretty cool app and it was recently updated to get the Oreo look and feel. It has a lot of customization features. One particular feature that we find interesting is the folder cover. Now you can set a primary app as the folder cover icon which can be launched directly and all the related apps can be clubbed under it and even they can be launched by a simple swipe gesture. The launcher supports some animated widgets like clock and even the icon are live icons. Swiping to the right will give you a minimal draw and to the extreme left you can pin some widgets, uh, something like the sidebar we had in Windows 7. All in all, a really interesting launcher that's definitely worth a shot. Next up is the AIO launcher. Now I have to say that this is one of its kind. It is not your ordinary launcher with you know all those cool animation effects and variety of themes. This is a very different kind of a launcher which uses the entire screen space to show what you want right when you want it. The launcher screen is no ordinary home screen. You can get your emails, messages, call logs and even the most frequently used apps right on its home screen. Swiping from the left edge will give you a list of apps and at the bottom you get a search bar from where you can directly search on Google. There's a pro version using which you can get icon and icon pack support. But if you ask me, I like it this way. So if you are in for a minimal distraction free launcher, then AIO launcher could be your pick. Now, interesting thing is that if you have a phone with an AMOLED screen, you can set a dark theme and make sure that it saves some battery for you. Next name in the list is the ADW Launcher 2. Now, ADW Launcher was a big name in launchers back in 2010-11 when Android was in its early stages. But after that, it sort of died due to lack of development. But now the launcher is back and it's back with a bang. It has a lot of cool features, customization options, very fluid and you can also download themes and all unlike Nova where you have to do a lot of customization manually. One very interesting feature of the launcher is that it also works in the landscape mode and if you are using a large screen device it certainly will help. You also get the option to add a secondary action on desktop shortcuts. For instance, say, swipe up over the messaging icon to open WhatsApp. The good thing is that this feature in this launcher is free. You might find this in other popular launchers as well, but they are most likely to be a paid feature in them. So all in all, a good launcher, if all these features don't convince you, maybe nostalgia will. So uh, do give it a shot and tell us how you like it. Next up is the Everything Me launcher. This is a pretty interesting launcher. It's basically a contextual launcher which delivers what you need on your phone in just one tap. The launcher surfaces the apps, contacts and information you'd want based on your context, which means based on your location or the time of the day, your individual preference and more. All your apps and information will remain on your phone and they'll just be neatly organized and easier to access. One main feature of this launcher is smart folders where the apps are automatically organized in folders that you choose keeping your home screen neat. Folders also contain convenient cards which have articles, videos and more. Plus you get a prediction bar which is really good at delivering the apps and information that you probably need in the moment. For instance, a news app in the morning or a call you missed from a friend. It makes sure that you do not miss any urgent information. So basically the Everything Me launcher learns from your usage of the phone. The more you use it, the better it gets predicting stuff. So give it a shot. Next in the list is the Microsoft Launcher. Now I would really recommend that you enroll in its beta version if you haven't yet because that's where its best features are. It's almost like the Pixel Launcher with some added features. 
One of its best features is the gesture support. Now using the gestures, you can double tap to lock your phone, swipe up for app drawer and more. If you're using Windows PC with the same account, there are some interesting photo syncing features to try. Another cool feature I like about the app is the option to cycle wallpaper automatically every 30 minutes. Overall, Microsoft Launcher has been a popular name in launchers for quite a while. I'm pretty sure a lot of you have been using it. If you haven't given it a shot yet, it's time to do that now. A launcher list without Nova Launcher? Well, that would be blasphemy, isn't it? So that's the last launcher in our list today. Nova Launcher, as probably all of you know, it's the most popular Android launcher out there. A lot of customization features, really lightweight. And whatever new features Google introduces in its Pixel launcher from time to time, you can actually get it in Nova Launcher's beta version as and when it's updated or without even you know waiting for the official Android update. The great thing about Nova is that all the icon packs are compatible with the launcher and with little customization tricks, you can give any look to your home screen. The pro version is also there and if you want to unlock its full potential, uh, it's best to go with the pro version of Nova Launcher. So friends, these were the six launchers that we recommend you try in 2018. If you have been trying one of these launchers already, I suggest that you make a switch and try something new this time. So um, that was it up in this video. I hope you like it. Do hit the like button. Also subscribe to GT Guiding Tech if you haven't yet. And I'll see you in the next video. This is Abhijit signing off. Bye-bye.